Hey guys, what up? Spirit Mongo 187 here for a new match of Shadow Era, and we are still playing Shattered Fates. Yep, the beta. And we are facing off with a Moonstalker, and we are playing a mage ourselves today. And I just built this mage deck and drawn a couple of cards, but I didn't draw any of them. So we have a dagger of fate. If a card gets discarded, I can activate its ability, it gets 3 attack. So it's pretty cool. Uh, well, there are a lot of attachments in Shattered Fate, so let's get rid of one weapon. And let's see what our opponent is doing. So we have a turn 2 drop here with the Thumb of Knowledge, so we are going to cost that definitely. Yeah, here we have a Fortified Witch, which is pretty nice. 4 resources and all of its damage is reduced by 2 and I have a lot of this ally type, it's a human ally homunculus and I have some homunculus uh, cards in this deck so you'll figure it out or you will see it but I'm playing against Moonstock and I don't like playing against Moonstock because his ability is really annoying a few cards in your opponent's hand, let's finish him off ASAP I don't like him seeing cards in my hand. Let's get rid of this. This is one of the key cards. Target ally in your hand is discarded, and uh, Moonclus gets plus one attack and plus one health. Let's kill him off. And we'll just enter. We can search uh, for an artifact from our deck next turn. And it's probably going to be the, the one that I just dropped here for a resource the Moonclus Factory or whatever it's called. And sometimes I search for the Dagger of Fate or the Dome of Knowledge, but I, in this case I drew all of them, which I sacrificed one of them. And with the uh, the, the artifact that I just sacrificed, the, the factory or whatever it's called, I discard a card and then I use this ability to gain some more attack. And this is the, the little combo with it, whenever I play this card, card from his hand, he gets plus one blaze attack and plus one health. Together with artifact, he gets plus two. Plus two for each ally discarded this way. So that's pretty nice. What does he have here? Well, every ally you control is a wolf and ally potion abilities. Cost one additional resource to summon. Okay. What are we going to get rid of? I guess this weapon. And what are we going to play? Hmm. We play this one, make it a 4 4, but that would suck, so we're going to cast him. And we'll just enter him here. Let's see what he will be up to. This fortified wish will stay in play with an attachment on it, so it can attack, or will it be destroyed? Let's see what he's going to play. He's going to 5 resources this turn. And it's a bit crappy that I already threw, draw 2 weapons and already need to sacrifice both of them. Well, every ally he controls a movement, he has protector. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see what we are going to do now. Let's get rid of one of these. And we'll just electrify both of them. Oh, I can't. It sucks. Let's just do damage to them. And what will we do? Let's just search our library for. The artifact. It'll be this one, the abomination factory. Yeah, why not? And we just hit him in the face for one, bringing him down to two health. And we'll just enter in here. So I'm not going to discard anything yet. And normally, the, the perfect play is playing this one in turn two, turn three. You're going to search if you're second uh, to go first. 
if you're not going first but second and you have three shadow energy in your turn three you search for uh, you just got an ally pumping him up to 4-4 four, four. and that works out pretty nice uh, I've only played one match before with this deck I just built it built built it yesterday played one match or two I think one but I've won it so I thought yeah but this deck really needs some more allies uh, yeah it's already pretty full I have like 16 I think 18 or 19 allies in this deck of course four of these I think two or three tome of knowledge two or three weapons because that weapon really win, won the game for me last match. Let's get rid of one tome of knowledge or do we save it. Hmm. Let's get rid of it. It's a risk, but I'm willing to take it. Um, let's see here. Let's use this ability, discard him, and pop him up. So we're going to kill him. Take him down. Evade our ability. Search our library for a weapon. Which we're going to pop up. Mm, I could destroy him. I think I'm going to save that card and draw a card. And now I'm going to destroy him. Okay. And hit him in the face. A tree. But that's what I hate about these Moonstalker decks. They always save up all of the shadow energy and then when they have a lot of resources they come out with a lot of allies. But in this case he didn't because he just surrendered. We concede it. So yeah, that's a little bit what this deck is about. A few monthly creatures, and I think that one that I had in play, what was it called, Fortified Wrist or something. It is a real nice card. It's four resources. It's a one for ally. When it kills an ally in combat, it gets plus one attack and health. Maybe I do think only one attack. Um, and all damage to it, that's the most important one, is reduced by two. So that's really nice. So yeah, I hope you like this match. Do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next match. Cheers!